Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Jeremy Redman here, founder of Task Magic. Wait, I still got to get these. I still got to get these shirts on. My, I got to give some away, um, and I think it's Giselle who deserves one for free. So, um, but I wanted to come to you. Um, we need to make this video because uh, we had we we discovered this really cool thing that we're doing with the program. Shout out to Isaac um, because he forced us into doing Chrome profiles and managing them. <laughs> lovingly forced lovingly by force um we are now able to interact with chrome extensions and this is huge right so for instance if you have like a chrome extension that is right like this is my email so i have streak as like a crm i have adio as like another crm like keeping right for our customer support tickets okay so I could essentially come in here, interact with this on the front end um, and some of the settings, like maybe these types of things. So, and then interact with all these. Here are my keeping tickets, right? Here are my streak tickets, whatever, my calendar, whatever. So this is one way that you can actually interact with Chrome extensions now that we couldn't before because we couldn't install extensions, right? So they weren't, on you wouldn't see them because it's in a chromium browser uh if you're not familiar with that if you're not getting it just like watch the chromium browser video um which we'll have also up here so this is a really cool insight and what happened was i just want to i we, kyle made a video that he will show you exactly how it works um like that we made so but first i want to highlight one thing which is the power of community which is great i don't get out of here which is great because had someone in the community not yelled at me to do a certain thing, we figure it out, right? Lovingly, by the way. I love Isaac. <laughs> he knows that. Okay, enough. So um, for me, if we don't hear things or like you guys don't upvote things, we don't know what to do. We don't know where the pain points are. We don't know where those edge cases are because again, we're boiling the ocean. Go to that video. Um, and this is something that was like a byproduct of something else that we just found out we could now do, right? So that we can give you. And guess what? We're charging separately all AppSumo people for this. But I'm kidding. I've I wanted to do I wanted to do something big for uh, April Fools. Like we're going out of business, <laughs> and just like scare the shite out of like we're not going we're we're not going anywhere late april fools late april fools um we're healthy as ever uh so healthy that AppSumo is also making us launch um again next week by the way i don't think we're gonna give them extra cloud i don't know but because everyone else that bought previous on the pre contractually we have to come back kind of um not that we didn't not want to but we love the AppSumo links. Hopefully everyone is as welcoming as everyone else has been here. So, but check this out. Um, this is how to automate interacting with Chrome extensions now that we have Chrome profiles. Let us know in the comments and say hi. Okay. Hey everyone. Let's spread. And the community is almost here, by the way. We think we're going to launch it in the next week or so. I've already reached out to a couple people. If you want the community piece, let me know. But you have to, we have to email the team and we'll get you in there. And you're forced to interact. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Okay. So this is a little bit more of an unofficial feature. But if you go to your settings and then Chrome profile settings and you set up one of your profiles here with cookies and things like that, um, you'll also be able to add Chrome extensions. So what's important here is that we only use Chrome extensions that we are not required to interact with that Chrome extension. So what I mean by that is some Chrome extensions will change something on the page. For example, some users have Facebook Chrome extensions that will add a button to the page that says like message all users. Um, there's some things that manipulate the website so that you have a new button to click. If that's the scenario that you have, that's a Chrome extension that TaskMagic should support in your automation. 
So the way that we add an extension to our profile is we first create that Chrome profile, again, settings and then Chrome profiles, and then clicking new Chrome profile. Then we can click this launch browser icon, which is gonna open up that Chrome window with this profile. This is a fully customizable Chrome window with all of the settings that Chrome normally has, which means that you can also add extensions here. So we can go to the Chrome extension store by pasting in chromewebstore.google.com. And then I'm just gonna pick a random, I don't know which one, let's do this one. We can add this one to our Chrome profile and then again, pin it the same way that we normally would. Uh, maybe now you do any customization or setup that you need. And this is all going to again be saved in this Chrome window. What matters now is when you start an automation, I'll go ahead and completely close this window. When I start an automation with that profile, let me go ahead and connect it really quick. Then I will have that Chrome extension added to the browser while I'm recording. Again, so we can see that here. Again, what's important here is TaskMagic is not able to interact with this Chrome extension. So you will not be able to record a click of clicking this and then clicking on an option inside of here. You're only gonna be able to record clicks inside of the browser. So again, we're depending on this extension to be adding information to the browser that you're wanting to interact with. Now, one very important um, feature to be aware of when you're using this that you'll no longer be able to use is headless automations will not be able to use the Chrome extensions. Um, they are very much in an experimental state, so they're expected not to work right now. Uh, the way that you can counteract this is if I click exit recording and then I click screen settings in my automation, I can make sure that I always show the browser by clicking this option and then I click save. Now, if I was to turn this automation on from desktop, since that uh, always show browser feature is not available on cloud, if I turn this on from desktop, it's going to launch that Chrome window when my automation is running. So it will have access to that Chrome extension um, and we do not need to do anything still. The only caveat is the browser is gonna be visible, so it might pop up in the middle of your workday. Um, however, you do not need to interact with it. You can simply minimize it and the browser will continue running. You can also let that just be in the background of your desktop. It just is a window you don't need to interact with. It just needs to show the browser, otherwise the Chrome extensions will not work.